Australia drought warning. The bad timing of the Jerusalem decision. My name is Enoch Lavender from Olive Tree Ministries. Now, why are we talking about drought? Because Australia is in the middle of a flood crisis with flooding predicted from the northern tip of Queensland all the way down to Victoria. More rain is on its way. Already the impact of this flooding is huge in our nation. So why speak of drought? Well, the Australian government has recently changed their policy concerning Israel and Jerusalem and the timing of this is really, really bad from a prophetic biblical perspective. Let's have a look. You see, they changed their position regarding Israel and Jerusalem during the Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles is the only feast to specifically involve the nations, to involve Jerusalem and the King of Kings all in one. We read of this in the vision of Zechariah about the millennium, about the time when Jesus himself will rule and reign in Jerusalem. And it says in verse 16, it will come to pass that everyone who is left of all the nations that came against Jerusalem will go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. So during the millennium, the nations will come during Tabernacles to Jerusalem. Jerusalem will be the seat of the, the throne of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus our Messiah. And so they'll be recognizing Jerusalem as the seat of his authority, recognizing it as being chosen by him, recognizing it as being part of the nation of Israel that he has established. So all this relates to the Feast of Tabernacles. Now there's more. Tabernacles and rain. It will come to pass that whoever of the families of the earth do not come up to Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, on them there will be no rain. Now why will there be specifically no rain on those nations that are not acknowledging Jerusalem during that time? Well, that is because the Feast of Tabernacles is specifically set apart for prayer for rain. And this prayer for rain happens on every day of the seven day feast, culminating on the last day of the feast when the greatest focus is on praying for rain. So if the nations don't come to ask God for rain, they're not going to get it. If they don't recognize Jerusalem and God's choosing of her and come to this place that God has chosen, the rain will be withheld. Now, we are not obviously in the millennium right now, but it's very interesting to note the timing of what's happening here in Australia. Because Australia has decided to move away from Jerusalem. A few years ago, we recognized West Jerusalem as part of Israel proper. But during the Feast of Tabernacles this year, 2022, Recognition of West Jerusalem as part of Israel was removed from a government website. Now, news of this began to break on the great last day of the feast and the news reports were happening in our media that there's a change of government policy. You remember, this is the day set apart for praying for rain. This is the most important day. This is the only day in the whole year of the Jewish calendar which has this unique and special focus on praying for rain. And it is on this day, connected to the nations recognizing Jerusalem, that reports began to break or a change of government policy. And the next day, the government confirmed their policy had been changed and they were no, they were no longer going to recognize West Jerusalem as part of Israel. Now, Australia has in many ways not just in this decision, been turning away from God, turning away from biblical morality, turning our back on the standards he has given us and the foundation he has given our nation. Will his blessing be removed from our nation? Is a good question. Droughts in the Bible were so often linked to the spiritual state of the people. We read in Deuteronomy 28 that your heavens over your head will be bronze and the earth under you will be iron and the Lord will change the rain of your land to 
powder and dust, and from the heaven it will come down on you until you are destroyed. We read the same in 2 Chronicles 6 at the dedication of the temple. Solomon prayed, saying, When the heavens are shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against you, when they pray towards this place, which is Jerusalem, and confess your name and turn from their sin because you afflict them, then hear in heaven and forgive the sin of your servants. And he goes on to say, And send rain on your land which you have given to your people. God has given us a land. He has given us many blessings. But those blessings begin to get withhold as we turn away from him. And so my heart's desire for our nation is that we will turn back to God. That drought and other evil things do not come upon us, but that instead the blessings can remain and abide on our nation. Rain is a blessing in the Bible. Now it's interesting to note that the Hebrew word for heaven literally is there's water. Heaven is linked to the, the river of life. The throne of God is where the river of life comes from. And you and I, as human beings, we all need water. And I believe God has intended it this way as a picture of our need for him and the life and blessing that flows from him, which is the river of life. And so heaven is the place of water. Heaven is the place of abundance. And we are praying for that abundance and that blessing upon our land, upon our nation. And there's a promise in Deuteronomy 28, as we follow him, the Lord will open to us his good treasure, the heavens. He will give the rain to the land in its season. He will bless the work of our hands. So will you join me in prayer as we pray for our nation? Father God, we ask you for your mercy upon the nation of Australia where it's been a nation with a godly foundation but has been drifting away from you, slowly following the tide of this world and in many ways taking for granted the blessings that we have. Father God, forgive us. And Lord, where we haven't acknowledged your ways, haven't followed your path, and especially in our relationship with Israel, Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, I pray for a turning back of our nation to a godly standard, a turning back to your ways. Lord, that again, your blessings may be poured out on our nation. Lord, have mercy on Australia, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. If this has been a blessing to you, please like and share this message and leave your comments uh, on the YouTube video. Thank you so much and God bless you.